How would you sum up your uh, first game with the Jets? Um, you know, a little, a little rusty. It was it was good to be back out there on the field. Um, you know, uh, wish it was under better. You know, wish I was talking to you under better circumstances as far as the W. But um, it, it, it was good to be out there flying around. Um, I just didn't like the end result. Uh, like I said, I just wish I was up here talking with a with a W under our belt. But um. So why did you decide to end the holdout when you did? Um, as of right now, fellas, and everybody that's here, I have nothing to say as far as the holdout. Um, the only thing that I'm worried about right now is what can I do to be better? Um, what can I do to get myself uh, fully up to speed? Uh, we got a Thursday night game, and that's the only thing I'm focused on right now. How can I get better? How can I help the team win? And what, what do I need to do to, to make sure we can get these Ws? With this team in the situation it's in and you not being here, do you feel at all like, responsible for that? Or, or what are your emotions in terms of that aspect of it? Um, I, I don't know. Responsible for what? Uh, I don't. I mean, the, the, the way the record is right now. No, I mean, no, I don't feel responsible. Um, do, you know, I uh, wish some things were different, things happened differently. Um, but like I said, I'm here now. We took it out of the day. The only thing I'm worried about now is how myself, what can I do to be better? What can I do to get myself fully up to speed? Um, that way, come Thursday, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the best version of me. So how can you get yourself up to speed in such a short time, man? Uh, continue to, you know, hone in, learn the playbook. Um, you know, look at the film today. Look at the things, you know, look in areas where I could have been better at. So how did you feel out there physically, like just with, the, with your win and everything? Else? Oh, physically, I felt well. I felt good, man. Um, you know, I felt really conditioned. Um, that was one of the things that I did work on while I was in the, you know, while I was uh, going through that process. Was making sure that when I did come back, that I, you know, that that my wind was up, that I, that I wasn't holding the team back. So what did you do during that time to stay in shape? I worked out with my trainer, the same trainer I've been working out with for the last five to six years now. Um, so we, we just got after it every day. Uh, he did a great job preparing me and making sure that when I did come back that I was physically ready to go. Was there any awkwardness this week, Hassan, no, coming in? No awkwardness as well. And um, that's a testament to everyone on the team, man, coaches, players, uh, upstairs. Everybody made sure that when I came here that, you know, I felt welcome. Um, you know, even though I miss uh, a lot of time uh, coming around the guys, man, you would have thought I've been here the whole time. They welcomed me with open arms. The energy all week was perfect. And um, like I said, man, I appreciate the guys because they, they didn't have to do that, but they did. And, um, you know, it, it made it a really easy and seamless transition for me. Guys, man, helping me out all week, making sure, you know, I know, you know, the players that was in, the players that was going to be called. Uh, so I'm just appreciative of that, man. Some some great guys on the squad. Obviously, when Jeff, when the trade was made, Robert Sala was the coach, and now Jeff Ulrich is the interim coach. Just talk about your thoughts about Jeff Ulrich, mm -hmm. like, throughout, like, this short amount of time you've gotten to know him. Oh, uh, man, I knew, I knew Brick since um, – when he was with Atlanta and I, I did my workout for them um, coming out into the draft, man, uh, a great guy, great energy. Um, you know, he's he a great coach, man. He made sure he could do what he can to make sure our bodies was well rested, um, getting ready for this game. Um, we just came up short. But as far as Burke, man, I love his energy. I love how he's, uh, uh, you know, addressing the team. Um, I, I have nothing but love for him, even throughout the whole process. And him reaching out, a Whip reaching out. Man, they, they show mad love. So happy to be here. Happy to you know be. be so Albert reached out. Hey, Somebody other other players reached out to you during Correct. the process. Correct. Mm -hmm. you talked about how great everybody was when you got here. Did you feel the need to talk to anybody individually about you know your decision to not be here? All not that at time? all. Not at all. You know, everybody pretty much understood that there was a business. Nobody inside the building was focused on that. Everybody just was you know trying to help me get up to speed. That way, come today, I can go out there and make some plays. After the trade, you did a press conference. It looked like you were going to be with the Jets, and then you held out. Why after the press conference did you hold out? I stated earlier, I'm, right now, and I'm not speaking on the holdout. Why uh, did you hold out? As of right now, and I'm not speaking on the holdout. Why did you hold out? Got you. That's all. I appreciate it. Well, one last thing. Oh, one last thing. thing. You guys play. This is your first week here. What was it like being out there? And it seems like you guys are just a play or two away. How mm -hmm. close do you guys think you guys are to getting on the right side? Like you said, uh, literally a play or two away. Um, it's just about, you know, making sure we're on the opposite side. You know, ne next week we got to make sure the opposite team is a player to away. Um, and, and that's it at the end of the day. Because it can always come down to one. Anything different with preparation? As far as, no, no. For, uh, 
man, at the end of the day, everybody just has to go and check themselves and see what they can do with a part of their 111th to help this team win. I know that that's what I'm going to do. I don't have anything to say about what anybody else did um, because I'm focused on what can I do to, to make the team better, what can I do to help this team win. Two games Thank you. Last one here. Is that a, is that a good thing or say bad? Again, Given your situation, two games in five days, is that extra challenging or – Better because you're fresh. As I, as I said, I, you know, I felt like I was well conditioned. Um, uh, came out this game, no nicks, no anything. So uh, I, I know Coach Brick is going to do what he can to make sure that we're fresh for this week. Um, I don't feel like it's a challenge at all. You know, I'm a football player at the end of the day, uh, and, I'm, and I'm looking to take on any challenges that come my way.